Welcome back to the PSN Commanders Network. It's your boy Tone K A Tech, and I am back with another video. AGT to glory to God. For God's right now, God's gonna do us and pay for all you wonderful people in Jesus. My name pray, Amen. Today's video. Um, I'm here to talk about what's next for the commanders, man. What's next for the, that's for the commanders quarterback situation. Um, we'll talk about it very briefly today. Let's get right into it. So, uh, right now, I want to look up Sam House stats real quick. I should just first start recording, but I didn't do that. So my apologies, but I it only took two seconds. So uh right now, Sam Howell on the regular season so far has 1,749 passing yards, nine touchdowns, and seven interceptions. With a quarterback rating of 85.2 and been sacked 44 times. All right. So um Ryan right commands a brand four. Came off two really bad losses in the past three weeks to the Chicago Bears. And 0-4 at the time got blown out at home on Thursday Night Football. And he lose to the New York Jet Football Giants, who were 1-5 at the time, with the most anemic offense in football. Um, it's time to best Sam Howe if you're trying to preserve him. If you think he's going to be your 2024 starter, yeah. Make Jacoby Brissett your punching back. Because this kid's going to get killed. I think the kid's starting to see a little bit of, you know, ghost. I He went out there and had a gutsy performance yesterday, man, for all the adversity. But I think this might be the beginning of the end of Sam Howell if you don't save himself from himself. If you continue to play him with this makeshift offensive line, this kid won't last. He won't last mentally. He won't. To save Sam Howe from himself, you will have to play Jacoby Brissett. And Howe's had a promising three-game stretch before yesterday. Uh, so with the Philly game, the Chicago game, and the uh, Atlanta game, he had a combined 850 passing yards, six touchdowns to one interception over that span of three games. Um, I know two of those games ended in losses. One of them was because Ron Rivera's a hoe and didn't want to go for two. And the other one, we were just pathetic in versus the Bears. But he did throw three touchdowns in the Atlanta win. So, um, with his lowest passing yard uh, day of the year at 151 yards. But I don't care about yardage. I'm the kind of touchdown interception guy. And that 6-1 to one ratio is pretty good. Um, he showed yesterday, but the previous game before that, he played uh, the Bears game. It's a little um, misleading because he played horrible in the first half. Uh, but he kind of got things going in the second half and got the team back into the ball game. Uh, he played Matthew versus the Eagles. And he managed the game very well. Um, Taylor Heineke kind of style versus the Atlanta Falcons. Didn't turn the ball over, but didn't do a ton. But he made bros was trying to make a pro to uh, – Win the game. So he did struggle in the second half. He can, can I convert on third now? That's the number one problem with Sam Howell right now. As a passer, uh, maybe it's like, like he just he just can't convert on third down. Uh, the offensive line is absolutely crap. And until it gets better, I, I'm at a point where make your code protect your punching bag, man. Um, don't 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 just come this kid to this punishment. You do that, you're gonna get him killed. And I, I think Howe has some promise. And um, I'm staying I'm staying all 10 toes on Sam Howe, NHO. But it's at a point where you might have to sit him down, man. You might have to sit him down just to save himself from himself. He's on pace for 96 sacks, y'all. It's bad. It's bad. It's bad. You think the Eagles aren't going to sack Sam Howe nine times next week? They did Carson Wentz in week three last year. And this is a worse offensive line than that. And a quarterback that holds the ball longer than he, Carson did. This is about to be bad next week, y'all. The, we were confident in that Eagles game the first time. We have lost confidence since. We have not been winning football games. We've been struggling. So if you think you can get the same 31-point performance you had in week four, you're sorry to mistake. It's not the same football team. This team is struggling. This team trying to find answers. This team that lacks balance. This team lacks um, protection for the quarterback. And the quarterback is starting to kind of get a little shell shot. 
Call it what it is. Now, I, now I, he had a gutsy performance because he kept trying to sling it, man. But you can see maybe some soreness in the arm from keep getting hit so much. The arm strength wasn't there like it usually is. And he was a little hesitant to throw. Um, he did throw the ball away yesterday, though. Uh, it's just, I don't know, man. I'm at a point, I'm lost for words with this whole situation. Uh, I want how to work out, I really do. But if he can't protect himself from himself and the offensive line can't protect him, I don't want to see him play. This kid going to get killed, man. They will kill this young man. They, 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 they're going to end his career for even starts, bro. I don't know, man. This, this, this sucks, man. This this is complete organizational malpractice in my Jalen Morgan voice. This is complete, complete, utter malpractice from the organization. Thought that Nick Gates and Andrew Wilder was enough to fix his office. So, knowing that Leno's still ain't good, knowing that <clears throat> a one good office alignment is Sam Cosman. That's it. So, uh, the time starts Jacoby. Comment your thoughts. I'll put this in my community tab as well. Like, comment, subscribe, comment your thoughts.